The PlayStation 5 was one of the hottest items of 2020 and ended up being the most successful PlayStation launch of all time. And if there's one thing that we know the PS5 will have going forward, it's great games. So today, let's take a look at the best upcoming RPGs that will be hitting the PS5 in 2021. Little Devil Inside is a third-person action-adventure RPG being developed by Neostream. This project has actually been around since 2015 as a Kickstarter project where you are hired by a professor who is researching unusual incidents in uncharted parts of the world. You are assigned to undertake risky missions, and as more and more research is done, you'll be able to upgrade your armor, weapons, and transportation. I find the art style very intriguing, and in the trailer you see the main character pull off an array of different motions, ranging from running, to jumping, slicing, decapitating, and all of these animations look incredibly well done. And all of them transition very naturally into each other. While no official release date has been announced, this project is currently set to release sometime in 2021. Ruined King, a League of Legends story, is a story-driven turn-based RPG game being developed by Riot Forge. For those of you who don't know, Riot is a powerhouse in the online gaming world. However, this is Riot's first attempt into a single-player story-driven game. You control a party of up to three different popular heroes from the League of Legends world to take on the mysterious Ruined King. And while not much else is known about the story, Riot almost always releases quality games. So keep an eye on this title as it's set to arrive sometime in 2021. Seems like you're okay. Scarlet Nexus is being developed by Bandai Namco and is being led by former members of the Tales team. This game takes place in the distant future when scientists have discovered a method to grant humans psychokinetic abilities, allowing them to control all sorts of things with their minds. Bandai Namco has stated players can expect visuals and psychic battles with high resolution and frame rate, along with fully interactive real time battles with dynamic action. While no official date has been given for this game, the target release date is set for summer of 2021. In Lost Souls Aside, you play as the protagonist Kazer with the goal of eliminating the monsters that have broken into your world and discovering why they've come. The creator has said to take inspiration from Final Fantasy XV and Ninja Gaiden, and the full trailer shows a multi-phase boss battle that I highly recommend checking out if the game looks at all interesting to you. While the release date of this game is currently unknown, this was a project that was hopeful for a 2020 release, but was delayed due to COVID. So expect this game out sometime in 2021. Gotham Knights is an action RPG set in the DC Comics universe. The game begins with a message sent out from Batman in case of his death. With Batman gone, Gotham quickly becomes chaotic, and you must help clean up the city by playing as one of the four main characters, Nightwing, Robin, Batgirl, and Red Hood. Each of them have unique equipment and fighting styles, as well as separate skill trees and costume enhancement options. Gotham Knights is an open world game, so you will have the freedom to fully explore Gotham, and this game does allow you to either play solo or co-op with a buddy. It is currently set for a 2021 release. Crimson Desert is an open-world single-player action RPG, and this game is being developed by Pearl Abyss. That's the team behind Black Desert Online. This game was initially announced as another MMO project, but has since changed course to a story-driven solo experience with some multiplayer functions. Players travel as Macduff, the main protagonist of the story, solving mysteries and fighting a wide variety of foes, alongside your own group of mercenaries, all of whom have their own backstories. Crimson Desert is set to have very strong fantasy elements and is set for a quarter four 2021 release. Kena Bridge of Spirits is one of the most beautiful looking action adventure games I believe was teased in 2020. Ember Labs have created a new IP where it basically looks like you're in a Pixar-esque world where you play as the character Kena and journey to discover what's behind the fall of your village. You'll find and collect little creatures known as Rot during your adventure, and the Rot can actually acquire new abilities. This game just looks absolutely gorgeous, and with the fast-paced combat and puzzle-solving elements, the game is definitely one of the most intriguing titles on this list. This game is scheduled to drop in quarter one of 2021. 
Project Athea, a title that will probably change for its release, is a beautiful looking fantasy title from Luminos Productions. For this project, they had brought on the Star Wars Rogue One writer, Gary Whitta, to be Project Athea's writing lead, and he has stated that he has a crack team of A-list writers from the world of film, TV, games, and fantasy literature to create the game's universe. The trailer shows a female character who appears to be a magician of sorts, traveling through burnt ruins, interesting creatures, and probably one of the coolest dragons that I've seen in a trailer. While little more is known about this game, we do know the game is targeting a 2021 release date and will be exclusive to the PS5 two years after its release. I am Joshua Shield. At one point in time, Square Enix was the definitive RPG powerhouse of the genre. They made the most compelling RPGs out there with insane graphical detail, and as they moved away from the turn-based RPG into more of an action-based RPG, the company struggled to make the switch. However, with the recent success of the Final Fantasy VII Remake and finally mastering their action-based combat system, it seems they may have found their footing again. This game seems to be bringing us back to the roots of the Final Fantasy series to a classical fantasy world, as you take on the role of the protagonist Clive Rossfield, and while we don't know his backstory yet, we do know he's after revenge. While this game does not have an official release date, we do know that it's been in development for over four years now, and a Square Enix recruitment page was translated indicating a release before the end of 20. 2021. Hogwarts Legacy is a brand new story set around 100 years before the events of the Harry Potter series. Porky Games and Avalanche Software have stated that you'll be able to create your own Hogwarts student, explore the open world, and uncover secrets about an ancient magic that may affect the future of the wizarding world. The game starts out with you receiving an acceptance letter to Hogwarts, and then choosing which house you'd actually like to become a part of. From there, you soon find out that you possess an unusual ability to perceive and master ancient magic, and the game has some sort of morality system where you can choose to use that power for good or evil. While we don't have an official release date yet, this game is set to release sometime in 2021. Horizon Forbidden West is Gorilla's follow-up to the wildly successful Horizon Zero Dawn, which built a new franchise on the backs of gigantic robotic dinosaurs. The sequel comes as no surprise, and it's stated to have a bigger open world than Horizon Zero Dawn, and take place in the western parts of the United States. More specifically, Forbidden West stretches from Utah all the way to the Pacific Coast. In the story of the game, Aloy heads to the Forbidden West to uncover the cause of a strange crimson blight which is killing off plants, animals, and tribes. The game is set to introduce dozens of new machine enemies, and also looks to introduce underwater exploration. Horizon Forbidden West is set to release in the second half of 2021 as a PlayStation exclusive. While it is possible the game may eventually come to PC, the head of PlayStation has stated they have zero plans to bring this game to PC, and they remain committed to making this a PlayStation exclusive. Elden Ring is being developed by From Software, the famed producer of the Soul series. They also brought on George R. R. Martin to write the mythology of the world, and if you don't know who that is, he's the writer for the Game of Thrones series. It's been stated that this is From Software's most ambitious game to date, and this game went dead silent on any news since over a year ago when the trailer was shown. However, very recently, there have been reports that the game is actually finished and is now in the polishing stage of development. So while there is no official release date, my personal hope is we do see this game drop sometime in the first half of 2021. And rounding out the list at number one, God of War Ragnarok. This is obviously the follow-up to the PS4 God of War game that won pretty much every single Game of the Year award out there, and we know next to pretty much nothing about this game, except that it will release sometime in 2021. There are some online rumors that there will be a time skip involved, but nothing has been confirmed yet. I do believe that this game will release on the PS4 as well as the PS5, so if you won't be able to get a PS5 this year, I think you'll still be okay to play this game. So that's going to wrap up the top 13 RPGs coming to PS5 this year in 2021. Let me know what games you're excited about below in the comments, or if you think I missed one. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.